What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, super excited to be showcasing a Garatina team for Regulation G. Now, in a previous video, we showcased Origin Form Garatina, but that's not the same as OG Garatina. OG Garatina looks 10 times better in my opinion, and I absolutely love his Pokemon. But this Garatina over here is rocking pressure as its ability, alongside with leftovers as its item. Furthermore, it's got an amazing move set of Protect, Dragon Pulse, and Hex for two stab hitting moves. And then on top of that, it's got Combine for not only the special defense boost, but a special attack boost. This team also features two other Pokemon that pair up with Garatina really well. One is going to be Grimmsnarl, and two is going to be Glamora. They can both put status conditions on the Pokemon with Thunder Wave and Mortal Spin, allowing Garatina's Hex to do double damage. So, pairing up these Pokemon is going to be absolutely amazing. Grimstone can also set up the screens, Glamora can also do big time damage on the special attack inside, you really can't go wrong with it. The final three Pokemon on today's team is going to feature Incineroar and Rillaboom, two great fake out users and just solid Pokemon all around in ranked battles. And last but not least, we got Urshifu, the water one. Thing's broken, thing hits like a truck, cannot go wrong with it on your team. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself, rental code is at the top right hand corner and if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing Garatina. Going up against Shadow Rider Calyrex in match number one, we got ourselves a true test. Considering Shadow Rider Calyrex is definitely going to be top tier when ranked battles do drop. But something that I like about Garatina, or I should say this Garatina, is one, it's shiny. Didn't even know that. It looks insane. And two, it's terror type is fair. Works perfectly up against that ghost type moves helping us dodge a weakness. But furthermore, its stats are solid. Special attack rather high, HP bulky, defense bulky, special defense bulky, speed's pretty average. We love it, we love it. So this is a bulky Pokemon. It's a really bulky Pokemon. But from here, honestly, I just wanna go Garatina here for a lead. I think that alongside with like a late screen could be solid for us. Considering they might lead in DD and just try to go for like, you know, expanding force. That can just be a little bit of a problem. So I'm going to go in with both of these guys to try to get after it that way. Furthermore, I am going to bring in Boom, just in case we want to change up terrain and have a fake out user in the back end. That can work really well. And then last but not least, do we go Urshifu or do we go Glamora? I feel like it's got to be one or the other and I'm kind of leaning towards Urshifu at this point. Urshifu is just so good. It's just really good. Hits like a truck, has Aqua Jet. If, if Psychic Terrain is out on the field, first turn priority can be our best friend. We'll see what they want to do here, because if they do lead Shadow Rider, Calyrex, and Indeedee, I could swap into Rillaboom if I want to. I could definitely swap into Rillaboom, but I'm thinking of just setting up a light screen. Maybe just protecting. Let's see, he's just going to go Fluttermane Tornadus. Okay. The Fluttermane Tornadus come out here. I'm going to definitely have to Terrestrialize our Garatina, and I'm going to pop a Calm Mind. I'm going to go Calm Mind into light screen, which makes the most sense. Fluttermane's going to boost our energy up, and it's going to be special attacking. That's what I didn't want. We don't like special attacking. Like, you can outspeed me, that's fine, but we're gonna have to deal with this. So, we're gonna do that. We're going to rock a nice little light screen. Get this set up for the squad. And we'll see what they wanna do here. Hopefully, they just set up a tailwind, try to waste out a turn. But if I were them, I would be like, hey, I know I outspeed you already. There's no point of setting up a tailwind. Let me just drop a Leak Wind Storm. Makes the most sense. But we're kind of forced to terrestrialize our Garatina into a pretty solid fairy tower type. As you know, we're going to be weak to ghost type moves alongside our fairy type moves. And obviously, Fluttermane has both of those. <laughs> it's stab in both of those. It's ghost and fairy. So, Garatina is going to grab the terror type. I love its size. It's just so big. And they do end up going for a tailwind, which I don't mind. I do not mind. I do not mind. We're going to pop the light screen. Get it cooking. I'm just going to start paralyzing Pokemon after this. Dazzling is going to connect. So, Garatina is able to soak rather well. Combine's gonna fly. We're gonna start boosting up I could actually bulk him up again here. Especially behind light screen. We might as well. We might as well bulk him up here. We might as well get another special defense boost. It's definitely in our best interest. So I'm gonna go for another combine here. I'm gonna set that up. Um and I'm just gonna just start slowing him down, right? Fluttermane's gonna get this paralyzed here. And we'll go from there. I mean light screen's gonna be out here for a little bit. Do we really need reflect? Maybe, maybe not. But for now, I'm just not even going to pop the light stream. I'm not even going to pop it. But we'll see a Terra pop out here from probably Fluttermane, if I had to guess. And yeah, he's probably going Fairy, trying to do some big time damage right now. And I, I, I just don't mind that. I do not mind that. You don't have any seal type moves. We're now bulked on special defense. We got late stream up. We got some leftovers. And we're going to be able to slow you down and hopefully maybe waste out a turn. So Thunder Waves all around. Thunder waves all around. We love it. 
there's a nice little paralyze onto you. Bleakman Storm is going to miss both my Pokemon. Miss both my Pokemon. And Flutterbane's paralyzed. Oh my lord. Do we set up another Calm Mind after this? Did we just boost Garatina or do we just start getting after it? I think we just start getting after it. I think we just start attacking. It's definitely our best bet. It's definitely our best bet. I could paralyze the, uh... I could paralyze the, what's it called? The, uh, the Tornadus. But to be honest, I'm just gonna set up a Reflect here. Just for late game purposes. So now I get off my Reflect. I have both screens out and about. It's lovely. Bleak when Storm's gonna fly here. My Garatina takes a crit. I was gonna say, it's gonna take no damage. And it just did a bunch of damage. Dazzling Gleam's gonna fly on top of that. Which Dazzling Gleam will KO the Grim Snarl. Garatina soaks no problem. I could protect to get some leftovers HP, but we're fine here with Dragon Pulse flying. So Dragon Pulse is going to connect. Bop. Bringing you down to low HP. And I am out bulking a lot of things. So as long as no crits are happening, we should be fine. Obviously, I could protect Garatina this turn. But I'm going to go into... Hmm. Have you paralyzed? I'm just going to go into you. I'm just going to go into you and kind of waste out these Tailwind turns. Because once I can get rid of these Tailwind turns... Once I get rid of these Tailwind turns, we can outspeed this Fluttermane, right? Once I get rid of these Tailwind turns. So I'm just going to go into a Hex into this slot just in case he wants to end up going, like, swapping his Pokemon. And honestly, if it goes into Indeedee, you know what? You know what? We're, we're, we're just going to play this one safe. We're just going to go for Dragon Pulse. But if you go into Indeedee, then we can't use Hex into that. So I'm going to do that. And on top of that, I'm just going to fake out the Fluttermane. Just a nice little fake out into the Fluttermane slot. Bop. Actually doing a decent amount of damage. That's a lot of damage. Bleak when Storm's gonna connect. Do 18 damage onto my Garatina. And you get a speed drop onto my Roll Boom. That's fine. Fluttermane's gonna flinch. Tailwind should end this turn. Dragon Pulse gonna fly. We're gonna finish you off. And we have a few turns left in our screens. Or uh, at least our light screen. Well, Fox kinda hanging out here for a little bit. The Fluttermane's paralyzed right now. We still have terrain, which is great. I'm kinda hoping they didn't bring Indeedee, because if they didn't bring Indeedee. Then we can keep this train. And I want to keep this train up as long as we can because I'm just getting constant HP back. So out goes our Tailwind. My Garatina should outspeed our Fluttermane now, considering the booster energy was special attack. But I mean Hex isn't doing anything crazy. I thought I'd just drop like a wood hammer in that slot. Let's see who they go into. It's gonna be Calyrex. So Calyrex can come out here. I could double down into Calyrex at this point. I could. I could. And I think I am gonna do that. I think I am. And of course I got low battery. So I'm going to double down to Calyrex here. I'm going to go for Grassy Glide. I am going to pop a, uh, a Hex in that slot as well. And we're going to hope that he doesn't protect. We're going to hope that he doesn't protect here. That could be real ugly. That could be real ugly. And it doesn't. Cool. So Grassy Glide going to fly here. Do about half damage. I don't know if it was Sash or not. Astro Glide is going to fly here. How much damage are you doing to Garatina? You can't be doing too much. Yeah, no. Garatina soaks rather well. This thing's gonna end up being Life Orb. Hex is gonna fly through here. Garatina's gonna say bye bye to Calyrex. Get it on out my face. And we're gonna get back some HP. Obviously, after Flutterman goes, but maybe it's paralyzed. No, it's going for Moonblast. Into Rillaboom? No, into Garatina. You're not KO my Garatina unless you get a crit. This thing is just out bulking you. Light screen plus two on special defense. And it gets back about 25 HP at the end of every single turn. Due to this terrain and leftovers. We love it. We absolutely love it. I think it got back like 30 actually. Which is massive. Because I can just protect and do that again. I can just protect and do that again. But hoping this isn't Indeedee. I want to keep this terrain up here. And it is Urshifu. So Urshifu is going to come out here. Um, how many turns are left in terrain? Two at least? Three. Oh lord we love that. Oh lord we love that. And from here I mean I'm just going to go for a Hex. I mean, obviously, I'm going to go into... Maybe I should, should I protect you? Should I protect you? No, I mean, we should just attack here. We should just double down into this. We might end up losing our... Uh, what's it called? I mean, we outspeed. Do I go for a wood hammer instead? I think I go for a wood hammer instead. That's exactly what I'm going to do. He goes for aqua jet. That is dumb. That is dumb. So this works out perfectly. Hex is going to fly through here. Maybe I should have went for a Grass Glide, but Hex is doing a ridiculous amount of damage. And I thought my Rillaboom outsped. No, that was just Grass Glide. But Rillaboom is going to end up surviving anyway. And Woodhammer is going to take this thing out. So, we're going to take out the Urshifu. 
Rillaboom's gonna die to recoil, but it's over with. It's over with. It is over with. I think it went for Aqua Jet, thinking I was gonna go for Grassy Glide. But the reason I went for Woodhammer over Grassy Glide was in case they uh they just went after the Garatina. And I was hoping my Rillaboom was outspeeding the Flutterman, because I thought because of Grassy Glide last turn. But hey, everything works out perfectly. Garatina's still on the field, getting back a ton of HP. We can now bring out Urshifu. Who is going to outspeed that Pokemon? I can, and Garatina is going to outspeed as well. But Garatina, honestly, Hex ain't doing too much of this thing. Actually, it's going to KO it. You know, what? we're just going to let we're just going to let Garatina KO it. We're just going to let Garatina KO this thing. We're just going to let Garatina. It's double damage. That thing's paralyzed. Haven't been worried about it all game. A plus two on special attack. This is stab. This should just dump on you, right? Get it on out of here. Get it on, and we get a crit, and we get a crit. So Garatina showing its power in match number one. We start things off 1-0. Let's go hop to our second match. So guys, Garatina thrived out in match number one, picking up big time KOs, setting up combines, and standing behind screens. Now we're going up against a Coridon team that is actually really strong considering we have no weather control. So that is definitely going to be scary. It's definitely clear amulet as well, and it has a lot of special attackers on it. So I think screens are going to be our best friend. We definitely got to go into reflect. We got to start paralyzing. We got to start getting after it that way. But a Pokemon that I'm kind of scared of is going to be... Walking Wake and Flutter. Obviously, in the sun, they just thrive out there and they don't need booster energy. So they'll have a different item. So I'm going to go Grimstarl here. I think screens are going to be great for us. And furthermore, I am going to go Garatina for the lead. Do I rock out with Garatina again? Just set up screens. Maybe try to go for Combine, depending on who they want to lead here. And they kind of go from there. Because we can always Thrasilize into Fairy. Fairy's not a bad terror type here. So I'm going to go into both of them again. Same lead as last time. We definitely want Incineroar here. I like Incineroar because obviously Floribut's going to do big time damage in the sun. We got Intimidate for Coridon if it's not Clear Amulet. And we can KO Rollboom with it. And then last but not least, could go Urshfu, but we know Sun's going to be out on the field. So maybe we just want to go into like Power Herb Glamora. That could be pretty good. I actually like Glamora. Yeah, we're going to go Glamora here. It's big time special attacker. Let's see how this one plays out here. But yeah, obviously I want to bring out Urshfu, but with with the sun out there, Surgeon Strikes doing like negative six damage, and that's gonna be it. that that that's just its big move, right? You kind of need that for Urshfu to really thrive out. The guarantee crits, the stab damage, everything about the move is just insane. Let's see who they end up leading. It's gonna be Karidon and Walking Away. So now I'm a little scared. Don't like this one bit. Um, I'm gonna Terrasilize into Fairy. I mean, two Dragon types on the field. Pretty much force the Terrasilize into Fairy. And uh, we're going to set up a Reflect or Light Screen. Hmm. What's my play here? Reflect or Light Screen? I think Reflect first. Because chances are they're going to go for maybe like a Dragon move here. And I can Terrasilize and dodge at least one. I could go for a Combine boost, which wouldn't be bad. Like that Special Defense boost is just so massive. And I think I'm going to go for it. I think I'm just going for it, because I doubt you're going for any type of dragon or uh, any type of fire move to Garrison, right? We're going to see a Terra come out from Karide on turn one. Going to go into a fire type. So maybe he is going into fire type move, unless he just thinks I'm going into a dragon move. And it's more of a defensive. Let's see how this one plays out here. But I am setting up a Reflect turn one, which is great. Which is great. I'm going to Terrasilize in the Fairy. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Going straight Fairy. So now we got double Fairy on the field up against double dragon. Um... I don't mind this. I don't mind this. The Garatina out on the field. Protects and come out here from walking with we, we, we don't mind that. We don't mind that. Because I get off Reflect. And furthermore, I'm going for a Calm Mind here. So let's see what Karadon's going to go for. He's going to go for... He is going for the Flare Can you go after Grimstarl, please? You do. Beautiful. That's fine. That's fine. Can you soak? You 1 HP Bandit. We love you. We love you. Haven't... Haven't... I have not had a one HP bandit on my side for a while for a while it's usually the opponent but I'll take that all day so now I do that I can get off light screen which we love and furthermore do I just rip a dragon pulse in this slot and try to KO or do I go after walking wake I think I just go after I think I just go after you right yeah I'm just gonna go after cried on here so I get off my light screen we have reflect out here we might go after it for another flare blitz into Garatina this time He's going to go Hydro Steam to KO Grimstarl. That's fine. I got off my screens. And if I had to guess, you have to be going for another four elements, right? You're not going for the fighting move. You're not going to go for the anything else. 
I'm cool with this. I'm cool with this. So out comes Flare Blitz. How much damage is this going to do? Garrotine is a bit bulky in the Grim Sorrow. That's a lot of damage. We don't like that damage. So you're going to take a recoil damage. We are going to be able to take out Crydon, which is massive. So Crydon's gone. Get it on out of here. You get a crit. It didn't even matter. You were dead regardless. So now you're dead. I'm plus one on special defense. I'm plus... I have Light Screen out here, so... I think we should be able to soak some special attacking shots. And I could just protect if I want to. But we have both screens out, which is beautiful. So now I could bring out Glamora if I wanted to. Hydra seems scary. I think we just bring out you. Hydra seems so scary. It's so scary. And I could read the protective walking wake, but they're going to go into Tornadus here. They're going to go into Tornadus. Okay, I'm just going to fake out walking wake, and I'm just going to set up another combine boost. We need Garatina here. We definitely need Garatina here. We by far need Garatina here. So I'm going to fake out. I'm going to go into Combine again. And I think they, they might just set up like a Tailwind here. I'm hoping they set up a Tailwind. Just like first match. You already outspeed me. Waste a turn with Tailwind. Fake out's going to go here. Let's see what Tornadus wants to do. And he's going to go for a Taunt. Oh no, I should have just attacked that turn. That could have actually been a solid turn for me to attack. I just thought Walking Week there was a chance of that thing protecting. So now I'm taunted, and I really want to go for a combine. That could have been a big combine there. That could have been a big turn. The chances are you're going for Hydro Steam, which kind of sucks, man. Oh, man. I don't like this. I mean, I have Lich. Can you soak, can you soak one of them up? That'd be big time. I'm going to go for Flare Blitz here. Flare Blitz, Dragon Pulse. Try to get rid of Walking Wake. He's going to go for Hydro Steam. Can you soak this? I mean, again, we have Lich. Can you? you do. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Bleak Wind Storm flying here. Let's see. What you got here? You are going to go for Bleak Wind Storm. That's going to KO with me. It's not. Awesome. I like that. Because now Flare Blitz can chuck up some damage. Dragon Pulse will KO you. Get it on out of here. Flare Blitz, how much damage are you doing? And that leaves Glamora in a better position. Because I didn't like Glamora up against that walking lake. Flare Blitz coming across here. We are dying to recoil. But how much damage are we doing here? Enough? Focus Ash or 1 HP Bandit? Are you 1 HP Bandit? Are we having... Are, are, are we having double 1 HP Bandit today? We are! We are! You little biscuit! So I lived on 1, he lived on 1. Okay, it evens out. Now you guys can't call me lucky. But I get to bring out Glimora. We love a good old Glimora. You're gonna bring out Fluttermane. Which I love her terror type here. I like her terror type. We got Light Screen out. Um, I think from here, Mortal Spin's probably your best call. Just to set up a poison and just start hexing through this, uh, this Fluttermane. Oh, baby. Garrotine is doing so well today. Up against really good teams. I'm going to go for Mortal Spin to pick up the KO onto Tornadus and to set up the Poison. And then I'm just going to Hex with that double damage onto the Poison type. And that should pretty much wrap it up, right? I don't think Fluttermane can KO me. I'm too bulked up. Plus one on Special Defense behind a Light Screen. It's just so bulky. And my Special Defense is naturally bulky. Garrotina is insanely strong. It's so strong behind screens. I love it. I'm loving this team. This team is incredible. It's incredible. So out comes the Shadow Ball. Shouldn't do much damage here. Yeah, we soak all day. You do get a special defense drop. Hold up. We're back neutral here. We're back neutral here. But still, Light Screen helping us out tremendously. We get a speed drop here as well. But furthermore, Mortal Spin comes out here. Kaelin Tornadus putting the poison on the Fluttermane. Now Hex is doing even bigger damage. I think, it's I think it's double damage, but when you read it, it says it does massive damage when there's a status condition on it. And Hex is stab. It's super effective. We're still plus one on special attack. Bye-bye, Fluttermane. Get it on out of here. Garatina. I'm loving this thing. We're sitting 2-0. Oh. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in match number three. Moving on to our final match, and I wasn't expecting to do this good with this Garatina team. We are just crushing the casual ladder and crushing really good teams. But now we're going up against Zamazeta team in our third and final match, alongside with Grimstar. Grimstar is just an absolute beast. Um, I'm thinking of leading my Grimstar again. Let's go Grimstar Garatina. I love setting up this combine and just showcasing this Pokemon. I love it. I love it. And especially up against this team. I mean, they got a few decent Pokemon, but I feel as Garatina is really going to thrive out here. So I'm going to go into both of them in the back end. Uh, Zamazeta is not going to be bad. Well, not Zamazeta. Incineroar is not going to be bad just because of fake outs. They got a few physical attackers. I like it. So I'm going to go Incineroar. And last but not least, do we go Urshifu? Yeah, I'm going to go Urshifu. Urshifu is great up against everybody except for 
Sinistra and Araquanid. But other than that, he can really thrive out here, especially with the crits into the Team Blue, into the uh, into the Zombacetta. The crits are just going to be massive. And even if they set up screens here, crits hit through screens. Urshfu's definitely equal. It's a beautiful call. It's a beautiful call. But I just love this Garatina's design. Like, you see it standing on the field, especially because it's shiny. It looks so cool. But when it's standing on the field, it's just, like, the perfect height. Like, it's just, like, nothing's better in Pokemon than when you see a legendary that's like, yo... That's a legendary. That's a legendary. And I know that sounds weird, but like you look at Chi you're like, that's not a legendary. It just doesn't give off legendary vibes. When you look at Garatina, you're like, that's it. That if th that's a legendary Pokemon. Right there. <laughs> right there. There's a few like smaller ones that I, that I still like, like Shaman. I think Shaman's so dope. It's tiny. It doesn't really look like it actually does give off legendary vibes because of just how pristine it looks. But like a Pokemon like Chi Yu just doesn't give off those vibes, right? I don't think Zamazetta does, really. Only in that form. Not in its regular form, but, but like, you see Garatina, you're like, oh my lord, that thing's amazing. But from here, I'm just gonna simply set up a Reflect Turn 1, and I am gonna Terrestrialize Fairy here. Actually, you're Steel-type. You are a Steel-type Pokemon. I'm just gonna attack with Dragon Pulse. I'm just gonna attack with Dragon Pulse. Maybe I should Terrestrialize Fairy. This could've been bad. This could've been bad. I just don't like the Steel-type moves, man. Steel type moves are just scaring me. They're just scaring me. So I'm gonna set up this reflect, and now I'll probably swap it to Incineroar next turn, just for Intimidate drops. Just for Intimidate drops. We'll see what they want to do. I definitely should try this. I might have just blew this match if they just go for like breaking swipe and play rough. That can do me dirty. But I mean, reflect's gonna help us out a little bit, and then we'll get some leftovers HP. And we can always protect next turn. We could always protect. Let's see. So Reflect flies out here. We don't waste our terror early on here. We're hoping it pays off. He's going to go for a Fire Blitz, so that's fine by me. You can go for a Fire Blitz all day, and you get a crit. Of course you get a crit. Just what I wanted. You to get a critical hit through my Reflect. Iron Defense going to set up here, and now you're looking a little scary. This Body Press can do some damage. This Body Press can do some damage. Dragon Pulse going to fly here and almost get rid of the Gadget Fire. Almost just isn't enough. And from here, you know what? I'm just going to paralyze Zamazetta. I'm just going to paralyze Zamazetta. And I'm just going to go for a... Do I hex a Galaxy Fire? Galaxy Fire might put up a burning bulwark here. I'm just going to hex Zamazetta. There it is. Cool. Cool. Good read on Gene Zen. Burning bulwark flies out into that slot. And Thunder Wave is missing. Oh. Oh, man. Oh man, and then you just KO him. That's that's a rough turn. That's a real rough turn. I don't like that turn, not one bit. Because if I, I just need to land that, that Thunder Wave, man. If I land that Thunder Wave, that helps us out tremendously. Hex gonna fly here. How much damage is Hex doing? Nothing crazy. I mean, I can now go into Incineroar, which I love. I get out Incineroar. So Incineroar gonna fly here. Um, I I might need to set up some Calm Minds here. Calm Mind might be the play. Calm Mind might be the play. I mean, I definitely want to fake out Zamazetta. And I'm just going to go for Combine. I'm just going to start boosting my special attack. I need it here. We still have Terra, which is good. Um, You could be going for a Breaking Swipe. That's definitely a possibility. I mean, um, maybe I should have KO'd him this turn. You might swap. You, uh, you honestly, like, looking at this, you might swap the Gouging Fire. Just to save it for later. But that Paralyze would have been so massive onto that Zamazetta. That would have been really good for us. And there's a swap, dude. I'm making some good reads this battle. So there's a swap into a Rackmanade. That's fine by me. I'm able to set up a Calm Mind here. I have Reflect up here. And you should protect Zamazetta. That's fine by me. That's fine by me. Because I get off a free Calm Mind this turn. So Calm Mind's going to fly here. Um, I could swap Incineroar. I'm definitely going to Parting Shot swap him, right? Because a Rackmanade, I don't... I think at least this Arachnid is faster than Cinnamore. I would hope not. I would hope not. I would hope not. I want to see this in Cinnamore's speed. 84. I mean, you should be. Arachnid is just a slow Pokemon. That could hard swap, but I'm going to go for a parting shot into Arachnid. And... Do we go for this again? Okay, I'm going to parting shot into Zamazetta. I'd rather just Dragon Pulse into Raquanid. 
I'd rather just drag a pulse into the slot. All right, so Rackman just protects. That's that's fine. That's fine by me. You going for another iron defense? Is that your play? You're gonna go for body press, which KOs me. Yeah. Rough news. Just KO me. A nice little protect pops out from you. So now we're sitting in. I mean, it could be a worse position. Considering I could just start going for you know terror water shots here. Yeah, I'm gonna terrestrialize. I got the crits for a reason. That's big for bulky boy right here. So I'm gonna crit or terrestrialize into water. Go for certain strikes into Zombizetta. I'm gonna go for Dragon Pulse into a rack win. Being plus one on special attack is great. We still reflect up. We love it. Zombizetta is minus two. Is it minus two? No, it's minus one on attack. But we have reflect up, so that's just massive. So, I mean, they have the upper hand on us right now, but I feel as this is definitely a battle that is comebackable in. Let's sit in Surge Strikes. Has a chance of KO in here. Dragon Pulse can do a massive amount of damage. I got some bulks going. I got a lot of different things going for me. I'm not choice in my Urge Fruit either, so I can always have close combat if need be into the back of slot. And we'll see how this, they play this one. They're going to end up terrestrializing. Is this Samazetta or Araquanid? You got it. Gonna be Arachnid. I don't think you can Terrasalize Samazetta, can you? I don't know. You couldn't Dynamax in the last game or use like gimmicks in it. But he's just gonna go into a nice big time water terror type here. Body press gonna fly here and you survive. Beautiful. We love it. I'm kind of upset that you're out speeding, but we need a KO here. We pretty much need to KO this Pokemon. And I don't think we're doing it. I do not think we're doing it. It's some nice damage, but just not enough. Just not enough. It's just simply not enough. Dragon Pulse is going to fly into Rackwind. It's plus one, and that is not doing nearly enough damage either. Liquidation going to fly here into Garatina. Yep, how much damage does this do? So easily. Easily. So I was hoping we did half. My defense drops as well. Tough news there. Real tough news that my defense is dropping. Real tough news that my defense drops. I'm going to have to detect here and go for probably just a Hex. Yeah, we got to go for Hex here. I don't even know if Hex can KO. We kind of need it to. So it ends up withdrawing Arachnid. Who are you going to go into? Arachnid swapped out for Sinistra. Ah! Not good. Can we get a crit here? That's just such a solid swap. It really is. Detect going to pop out here. Body press gonna get blocked. Okay. Hex, how much damage? See, if we would have got the paralyze off, that would have been beautiful. But Hex gonna fly here. Not gonna do enough here. Another Hex will KO. I'm thinking there's a shot that Garatina might be able just to do this on his own. But from here, I'm gonna go Aqua Jet. Actually, you might go for Machi Gacha. You might protect Zamazetta. You might protect Samazetta, but I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna go for Rage Powder, you son of a biscuit. You little booger! You little booger. So he's gonna get rid of... He's gonna get rid of what's called... Urshifu here. Can Hex KO the Sinisha, please? Rocky Helmet, we're gonna take Rocky Helmet damage. Body Press gonna take you out, and yeah, dude, this Samazetta is actually just being a problem here. A massive problem. A massive problem, but honestly, Garatina? Can you get some work done here? Hex on a fly. You, you need to KO here. One HP bandit? Yo! <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Alright, Garatina. Let's get after it. We're gonna go for another Hex. We're gonna take out Sinistra first. I mean... Can he even take out Zamazetta? I don't even know. We're gonna take out Sinistra first. We don't have our Terra anymore. Gouging Fire can do some nice damage. Reflex actually almost gone. He's gonna withdraw back into Galaxy Fire or you're for their final Pokemon, Araquanid. Go back into Araquanid. Oh man, are you just protecting Zamazetta? Show me to protect on Zama. Then you go for Behemoth Bash. Can you soak this? Very easily. Very easily. Hex gonna fly in this slot. Do some nice damage. So Hex pretty much KOs both. Um, Araquanid could protect here. I'm gonna go after Zamazetta. Reflect is gone though. We don't like that. We don't like Reflect being gone. I'm gonna hex Samazetta. I'm gonna hex Samazetta. I know he outspeed Araquanid. I mean, he wants hospitality back. And can you KO this Samazetta, please? 
Can you KO here? It's gonna be close. It's gonna be real close. We're able to soak Behemoth Bash, no problem. Hex gonna fly through here for the KO. Let's go. So Zamazetta down here. Down and out. Down and out, Zamazetta is. So now they're probably going back into Sinistra. Um, honestly, without a reflect, I don't know if we can win this. This one's going to be close. Garakin is putting up a fight here. We got them all low HP. Gouging Fire is on one, it's one tapped. Sinistra's one tapped. Arachnid's going to probably be at half if Sinistra comes in here now. And no, they're going to go for Gouging Fire. Who, I'm going to predict Burning Bull working. Actually, no, you're going to attack. We're going to, we're going to have to attack you. We're going to have to attack you. Let's get back some HP first and foremost. Actually, you might just swap into Sinistra. I'm going to take out the Gadget Fire this turn. Breaking Swipe blind through here. I'm just going to get the attack drop. Do mm, that's that's the damage we didn't we didn't want to take. That's the damage we didn't want to take. Dragon Pulse. We now out speed. We just need to soak up shots. We just need to soak up shots, and I don't know if we could do that. Get rid of Gadget Fire. Liquidation flying here. It's going to do about half our damage, correct? All of it. Never mind. All of it. Did you crit? No, you didn't. You just you just hit like a truck wreck. But hey, almost a comeback battle with Garatina in match number three. But we'll stay, still take a 2-1 winning record. This just might be the best Garatina team for Regulation G. Most time when you're using Garatina, it's not that viable considering other Regulation G or Restricted Pokemon are just better than it. But when it comes to this team, everything just works so perfectly. Garatina can set up Calm Mind, Grimmsnarl can set the screens, Grimmsnarl can Thunder Wave, Flamora can Mortal Spin, helping Garatina do insane amount of damage and winning a lot of the matches. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.